If you're a content creator, you might be shopping for backup SD cards, and generally the more cameras you have, the more cards we have. Uh, so right now we're up to 15 or 16 different SD cards that we're using between our cameras. We have the Panasonic S5 II, the Sony a7 IV, the Sony FX30, and all of these basically have dual card slots, so we do need cards in both. Um, so two of my favorite cards to use generally have been the Lexar 1800X and the Kingston uh, Canva React Plus. So what, are the, what do these have in common and what are the differences between the cards and when should you consider each one? So when it comes to cards and we're talking about video, uh, generally there are going to be three ratings you're looking for with SD cards, either V30, V60 or V90. V30, what the, that, what the video rating means, it's the minimum sustained write speed onto the card. So both of these cards do advertise, uh, let's say up to 270 megabytes per second for this one. The Kingston, I have it covered up with a sticker, but I believe it's also like 280 or 300. Uh, but is that sustained? No, that's actually the maximum speed and that's the read speed to get the data off. When you're a content creator, the most important part is the sustained write speed because your camera is delivering information to the card. You want to make sure that the card can keep up and fill it up. Same thing if you're doing sports photography, things like that. It's going to be how quickly you can offload the buffer from the camera onto the cards. So that's why the speed rating matters and not necessarily the main speed, but the actual V30, V60, V90, and why some people go to CF Express A or CF Express Type B cards. So um, the 1800X is the newest one to the Lexor lineup, and this is a V60 rated card. The Kingston Canva React Plus is a V90 rated card, and it's actually one of the fastest V90 rated cards. The difference between these two, so when you're getting the information off of the card, so this one's rated up to 270 megabytes per second, the Canva, the Kingston is up to, I believe, 280, and we're both going to be right around that same ballpark. The difference is when you're doing sustained write speeds, uh, we're able to get about 120 to 130 on the 1800X versus the Kingston was all the way up to like 170, 180. So definitely significantly faster. So uh, that's the biggest thing to keep in mind. Now, if the card is slower to get the information off of the card onto the computer, it's, it's um, something just basically to bug. It's an inconvenience, that's the word I'm looking for. But if the card cannot keep up with writing, you possibly just lost work. And if you're doing it professionally, you probably just lost money, you lost clients, it's definitely gonna be bad for you. So make sure you have the right cards. Now the good thing is the cameras will tell you what the minimum need for the card read speed. So when it comes to photography, and if you just wanna fill up the buffer, the, the, the Kingston is gonna be what you want. It's gonna write faster and it literally means how many more photos you can get on and how many photos you can shoot per second. When it comes to video, you don't have that. Um, and literally all it is is as long as the codec and the format that you're recording it in, as long as it is fine for the card, that's all that matters. And if the card is faster than that, it doesn't really matter. So with most of the Sonys, you can record in most the H.264 and H.265 formats, even 4K, on a V60 without any issues. The only time you need a V90 is if you're recording in XAVCI or all I, so it's a more uncompressed format, or you're doing 4K 120 on the FX30 or the FX3, and in that case, you need the V90 cards. And that's why V90 cards, we have 16 different cards that we use in our work cycle. Only two of them are V90 cards, and uh, the rest of them are V60 cards, which are literally almost half the price. So basically, that's the one thing that you're going to have to keep in mind. Uh, if you're doing more photography and you're doing wildlife and you're just snapping away, you might go for the V90s. 
but if you're a video person, odds are you really might need a V30 or a V60 and you're gonna be good with that unless you're shooting 6K, 8K, um, and more uncompressed formats, in which case you'd want the V90s or you might need the V90s. So that's the difference between the Kingston Canva React Plus and the Lexar 1800X.